Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel, Brighton here from Bright Talks Tech. And in this video, we're going to be going over how to get low or even none at all input delay inside NVIDIA GeForce Now. So let's get right into it. Okay, so to start off, I just want to say most people that have problems with this is they're using Chromebooks. So first thing I'd say to do is if it's possible, try to upgrade your computer to like a Mac or PC. I'm using a Mac right now and I get 120 FPS with 1080p gameplay. So first to start off, the first thing you want to do is make sure you have the game you want to play. I'm going to be demoing Fortnite today, but as you can see, you want to go into your Nvidia settings in GeForce Now. So you want to select your server location that is closest to you. Then you can hit on test network. So as you can see, it says Ethernet. If it's wireless, it's OK, but Ethernet is a lot better. So as you can see, bandwidth is a lot better. And this is what I have. I see uh, I have zero pack packet loss. And then latency, I have 29. And it says 40. So I don't really have 29. It actually sh it shows the zero in game, which is a little bit more accurate but as you can see if I change my screen streaming quality this will highly affect your gameplay so it mostly it's set to balance which we use 10 gigabytes per hour which is actually a lot so I like to play on custom and the reason is because it uses 5 gigabytes per hour and as you can see if I turn this up it can use up to 15 and I'm gonna I leave my max bitrate and you don't even know you know what this means 16 looks good enough bitrate I'd like to think about like it's like pretty much quality and how good something looks like sharpness so 16 is actually super good 1920 by 1080 and if you guys want to that see like my settings I use all of these settings all the time inside my montages so if you guys want to see that just go to my montages in my YouTube channel so as you can see I use 1920 by 1080 if you're a youtuber I recommend using this and if you're getting clips I recommend using this as well Frame rate, it says 60, but you can go up to 120 if you if your computer has the performance. So adjust for very poor network conditions. If you have a really, really bad internet, and I mean really, really bad because GeForce Now, you really don't have to have a good internet. But if you have super bad and it's super laggy, it's really bad. Like over here, you see, you have really bad over here. I'd recommend using this over here and VSync off no matter what you have. So next, we're going to go into the game files. So let's just, I'm going to quit this right here after I just subtract this from my library. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into GeForce Now's files. So the way we're going to do that is we're going to go into Finder on a Mac. And on PC, you would go into GeForce Now through the File Explorer. So you go to the File Explorer, and then you're going to find GeForce Now. Here's the directory to get to GeForce Now's files on a PC it's up on screen right now so you can pause the video and go, or go back but this is how you do it on a Mac you want to go to your applications if you don't know where that is just hit on go and hit on applications right here then what you want to do is you want to find GeForce Now it'll be under NVIDIA GeForce Now app right click on it click on show package contents go to contents go to Mac OS or sorry go to resources and this is when you want so I'm gonna hit on open and I'm just gonna make this full screen so as you can see you'll see all of the stuff you don't you have to know how to read this but it says GPU acceleration you wanna keep that on true so to replace something you just double click like that or you just go from the exact word like that and you don't wanna take out these quotations right here or the equal sign so as you can see I wanna leave all of these the same over here and leave all of these the same over here and then we go down and you can see the background color you could change this I wouldn't recommend it like because when you first start up a game it's usually black I'd recommend keeping it in black but then you can go over here you can see startup auto update I have it on true so it'll automatically update on my startup anytime I start up the game not when I start my computer so you can see the scheme is GeForce now the streamer is on true vsync's on false you want to leave that on false so double click and turn it to false if it's on true Resizable, I leave that on true. You see um, this one right here. High DPI, keep that on true. This one, I'd say to leave it the same. 
and then this and this you can leave the same as well then when you're done hit on file and then hit on save then you can hit on X hit on X here and then we can go right back into GeForce Now so once you're into GeForce Now you can go ahead and launch up your game so I'm gonna launch mine up right now and since I have founders I can play on NA East and that's the servers I usually play on so as you can see I'm loading into a game immediately and if you have long wait times, I'd recommend switching your servers to Europe or something like that. Or you could change it to like some other server, whatever one you want. But you can like test them out and see which one you do good on. And mine was EU West, which was Europe West. And I'm not sure if it was Europe West 2 or just Europe West in general. But I know that it, I didn't have super high ping. I actually had zero ping. And that was because I have a good internet connection. And not only that you can also use this to your advantage because you don't have to have a long wait time as you can see I load in immediately because I have founders but if you don't have founders switch your servers and you will load in super fast instead of having the long wait time okay so the reason we're starting up Fortnite right now is because I want to show you guys some in-game settings that you should be using so you get less input delay and less ping so you don't really overwork your machine so I'm just going to load right in and it's already pretty much ready loaded in but I would say recommend going into a game of creative for this and if you only came for the GeForce Now tutorial and not for Fortnite then you guys can leave the video but stay here if you're a Fortnite player and you want to know how to get less ping because I am a zero ping player on 120 FPS. So if you get this thing that says body connection, it actually isn't body connection. It just says that sometimes, I have no idea why, although I don't even have a spotty connection. So I'm going to load right in, and once we're in, we're just going to hit on play. So by the way, you don't want to hit on creative from right from this screen once after this login screen. You don't want to hit on creative from here, you just want to hit on play from here. So as you can see, there's three options once we get in. And there it is. So save the world, battle royale, creative. Just don't click on creative. Click on play on battle royale, and that will bring you to your lobby. And then you can ready up into creative from there. So the first thing I recommend doing when you first get in is hit escape on your keyboard or go to the menu, go to settings, make sure this is on full screen. And I'm just going to quickly run through this: 1920 by 1080 or the same resolution as you picked on your screen in GeForce Now. Frame rate limit, I keep mine at 120. If you know your frame rate limit, you can look it up for your computer. What's the frame rate for my computer or the hertz refresh rate? Brightness, I keep on 100. You want to keep this. Do not use auto set because it'll put it on all epic settings. And you might be able to handle it. Like, as you can see, if I hit apply, I'm getting a straight 60 FPS. And that's because this turned down. So as you can see, I'm getting about 120, just about 120. But here, I'll load into a game of creative, and then we can see more there. So my settings are, I keep everything on Epic, except for Shadows and this other one. So once I load in, I'll show you guys, because all Epic settings is a little bit too much, and I recommend having it on something a little bit different. So let's just keep on waiting, and once we load in, I recommend doing this right when you get into GeForce Now no matter what you're doing and if you have to relaunch your game it'll all automatically reset your video settings not your keybinds or anything else so once we're in here what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit on escape settings as you can see I'm getting like 60 70 FPS and about 70 or 80 actually so I keep shadows off and effects off so I can keep both those off anti-aliasing I can't because I have DLSS on so as you can see, there's another option down here which makes it better. So we're going to talk about that a little bit soon. But for now, I'm just going to load into a match from here. So I'm going to load into BHE 1v1s. So I'm going to wait for it. And once we load in, as you can see, I'm getting about 120. Sometimes it fluctuates, and I have no idea why. But as you can see, I'm going to show you guys how to get this thing over here. Because normal people don't have it yet until they have their different settings so if you guys don't know how to get that yet just look it up how to get it and it's called NVIDIA Reflex Low Latency 
And the only reason I have that is because I am using a 3090Ti and I am using the highest specs. So here I'll just go like this. So as you can see, I'm getting zero ping with 120. As you can see, it says 120 right over there. But if I go to settings, you want to keep multi-threaded rendering. You want to keep that on. GPU crash debugging doesn't really matter. Latency markers I recommend keeping on. And video reflex low latency on plus boost. So what this is going to do is it'll make better system latency in GPU bound scenarios, and it requires an NVIDIA video card. So the reason for that is because uh, NVIDIA teamed up with Fortnite or Epic Games and they made it a lot better with that just in general and it gets you a lot lower ping so also I'd recommend turning off NVIDIA highlights if you don't use your clips or anything like that and replays have them off for the highest FPS so as, as you can see I'm getting zero ping right on the left there and I'm getting high FPS I'm getting about 120 and it's super easy to do stuff just like this but as you can see I'm not really warmed up right now so I just have to get warmed up so as you can see it's actually pretty responsive I mean I can steal people's walls it actually does count as zero ping and it's super good for that but um I recommend using these settings because they make your game 10 times better I'm telling you guys the moment I switch from balanced to the other one which was custom you can also use the other one which is competitive competitive is really really good for for low ping but it makes your game look a lot different so it makes it look like a lot worse so the reason for that is like if, if you're not a youtuber I would highly recommend competitive because if you're, if you're not a competitive player I would highly recommend competitive for that but the reason is because I am a youtuber I have to use these settings so that's the only reason for that other than that I would be able to use it use competitive if I wasn't just for YouTube because YouTube has a lot of a different wider screen like 16 by 9 and I don't want, want, want to use 16 by 10 or else there's gonna be like huge black bars on the sides of my videos so if you guys did like this then remember to leave a like and also if this did help you then I'd greatly appreciate if you like contacted me on Instagram or if you had any problems you could contact me on Instagram or something because I am accepting pretty much anyone to ask for questions. So see you guys in the next one.